Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I think this time I'm going to try and kill off all the critters in this room because perhaps I missed something in here that like maybe drops out of the sky if I were to say, ah, say kill all the critters and I, ah, wall masters, not my favorite of critters at all. <laughs> easily, easily, one of the most annoying enemies in the game. Yeah, especially since it just resets everything when it takes you out of them. Round two, unfair starting location, go! <laughs> and I most certainly was not going to go back through that door to reset this. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Alright. Come on now. Let's see what happens if I kill all the critters. Oh, I'll, I'll get hit by that beam once, I'll just to show you. Yeah, it, it turns you back into the bunny, only, but only for a brief time. It's not, not really a big deal or anything like that. Okay, so there's nothing here. At least nothing that I can tell. Alright, I mean, yeah, there is that pot that contains a large potion, but that's not really... Yeah, it's not really that big of a deal. Okay... So... Obviously, I'm not using a guide for this, <laughs> so let's continue on our exploratory place. Uh, what was I going to say there? <laughs> it's exploratory checking of the world or something like that. I don't know. We're going to see, I guess. We are potentially going to see. Well, I guess what I could do, at least for now, is uh, show you what the fire rod does. Like for actual realsies progress. See, I got it out here, it's over there. And what I can do here is burn up. Yeah, that, and you can actually go in there. <laughs> this is another entrance to the dungeon, yeah. Another one. Seriously. <laughs> I suppose I could do part of this now. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's a wall there. What a travesty. Can I go around this way and can I go down? No, I can't. That is also a travesty. And that goes around in circles like that. And this is... Where does... Oh, okay, there we go. You gotta kind of feel your way through the center of that there. Uh, I'm not gonna deal with you guys. No, just check right through here. There's a bunny beam. Well, rabbit beam. And... Mm -mm -mm. That's just waiting for you to drop down there. Any slight mistake, it will turn you into a rabbit before you know it. Come on, you guys, get get over here. I know they follow you partially. That's the thing of... When they're in their way, they're really in your way. <laughs> oh, no, 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 stop, stop. Okay, okay. <laughs> now I'm going to try and time myself between the traps blindly and try and work myself back over to that locked door blindly. <laughs> uh, where is the... Where did I go down? Like, I went... I came through here before. Oh, there we go. Like, I was holding down left and down right there. I don't know why. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, does this do anything? Does this do anything? No, okay, just wanted to be sure. So I'm gonna go up this way. And we got a little puzzle going on here. A whole puzzle of doom. Uh, for the record, you don't have to worry about falling in a hole by pressing a switch. You just have to worry about where the holes will be after you press the switch. Not really that big of a deal to get around here. It's just the uh, the wall master is your biggest issue. But if you're if you're constantly moving, the wall master isn't that much of an issue. Um, I'm, you're, this is one of those spots that you're gonna need the uh, uh, fire rod for. And by the way, if you burn the gibdos, yep, they instantly vanish. That's a really, really fast way to get rid of them. But, as you can tell, it really, really wastes your magic power. Alright, I want Wallmaster. There we go. Now I'm gonna, I have to do this all in one run here. And we go like that, I go like that. And that opens the door, yeah. They all gotta be lit at the same time in order for the door to open. And... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Mayday, uh-oh! <laughs> panic! 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 Okay, we're good. <laughs> Dang your rabbit beam. Dang your rabbit beam. Okay, I'm gonna take care of you. Well, no, you actually, it takes too long. I'm too impatient for you. 
So behind one of these is a door, and that's the door. <laughs> and that's the door I am looking for. And I'm gonna kill you with that, because it's much faster. Go away! Stop! 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 You take a lo lot of lot of hits and do a lot of damage. Stop! Yeah! Yeah! Was a whoa! <laughs> Helmosaurs. Pretty annoying to tackle with just a sword, by the way. Uh, I could use my hammer on them, that'll one-hit kill them, but... Mm, I don't feel like going in my inventory. Alright, now let's go down this way. And... no, 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 oh, I pa- oh, no, no! <laughs> oh, I was doing so well on my quest to victory. Oh, oh so that's why that block is there. To make it like a gauntlet of sorts. Oh! Oh, seriously? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's just drop down here this time and not focus on anything else. <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's the boss known as Mothula! And you can use the fire rod on it, pretty much. Yeah, oh, I failed. <laughs> ah, I am doing terrible in this dungeon. Absolutely awful. And I need some magic. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get some along the way. Like there, that's a place to get magic from. All right, so, Mothula. Round two! It's a moving floor! It's weak to fire! It shoots fire! Ironically. <laughs> like, how does it not burn itself up? And there's also traps! Honestly, the traps are probably more annoying along with the floor than Mothula itself. And let's get switched over to bow and arrows. Yeah! Wait, I thought you could bow and arrow that sucker. Ah! Yeah! Ah! Oh. Are you only- no, okay, you're weak to the sword, too. <laughs> We're good. We are okay. So it wasn't arrows that's weak. weak. It's secondary weakness, too. It's to the sword. Yeah! Oh my goodness, so much- so much sprites going on. <laughs> it's, it's madness. It's Sparta. And I think the, the traps actually do less damage than uh, Mothula itself. It's kind of weird like that. All right, heart container. <laughs> But I'm not really done with the dungeon because there are those other rooms that um, I, <laughs> I didn't go through uh, that you know that were locked over it, locked away with the keys and stuff like that. I just took this rope because it's you know after I got the fire rod, it's just all self-contained. I figured yeah, I can at least do this despite derping on the rest of the sections, even though I died a couple times. <laughs> Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Do you know the prophecy of the Great Cataclysm? This is the way I heard it. If a person who has an evil heart gets the Triforce, a hero is destined to appear. And he alone must face the person who began the Great Cataclysm. If the evil one destroys the hero, nothing can save the world from his wicked reign. Only a person of the Knights of Hyrule who protected the royalty of Hylia can become the hero. You are of their bloodline, aren't you? Then you must rescue Zelda without fail. Of course! Mm hmm thank you, thank you very much, thank you for the refills, I really need it, because I was really sucking. <laughs> Alright, let's go back in here for a sec, just to check our map, and see what we need to do here. Like, you see, there's all, that whole basement one section there at the bottom, those bottom two squares there, that I gotta go clear out, uh, somehow. <laughs> I just forgot how to get to them, and that's kind of the issue here. I could have gotten them on my first run through here, but... I just figured, no, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna flop through there, is, because I, I at least know what I'm doing over at the uh, climax of the dungeon, I guess you could say, after you get the fire rod. Because after you get the fire rod, then it's, you know, you just burn that, whatever it is, that skeleton. I don't know why the skeleton burns of all things. But you go there, you burn it, and then you go through that pathway, everything is self-contained from there on out, it's ultra nice. <laughs> Not, it's more straightforward than anything else of this dungeon, and that's why I went to it. Alright, so... So... <laughs> where is... Can I get through... Well, hold on. If I fall down this hole, is that... 
Yeah, it does take me to another wing of the dungeon. Ah, okay, so that's what you do. You fall on those kinds of holes, too. All right. Can't believe I forgot that. I'm just... I don't know. This dungeon has been a disaster, and I'm glad it's going to be over in two parts. <laughs> just so I can get back to being good again. <laughs> or I should say decent again. Uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like a pro speeder or anything like that, it's just... I, I don't typically have this much issue, even though I'm probably not having that much issue. Oh no! I've got the compass! And that makes holes appear in the floor. Uh, actually, that's kind of helpful versus these guys here. Because you can knock them in the holes. Yeah, like that. <laughs> it's just a lot faster that way. Yeah, I'll take that. And I think there's a key somewhere in this room, if I recall correctly. I don't want to go and go up before I'm ready here. Or go right before I'm ready. I just want to do it when I am ready. <laughs> and... Okay. Before I go through that door, let's check the map. I think it's going to lead me to a place that I haven't been before. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Progress. Progress is a beautiful thing. I know, it's it's incredible. <laughs> and there's a key. So the other room didn't have a key, but this one had a key. Okay, so this... Oh, then that other room must lead to another key. <sighs> <laughs> this is not my dungeon in the slightest. Oh! Hey, yo! I'm bouncing around like a pinball machine because my sword strikes aren't even all that accurate. <laughs> but that's all right. We're almost done here. And I was going to go back to this door right here anyway because this is. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can't go back. I gotta go back. Feeling claustrophobic. Especially since I got another door to open with a key. Actually, I think that other door is a uh, uh, shortcut, come to think of it. Um, this right here is another key, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is, and that's the second key that I was looking for to open up the rest of the rooms and explore them. I don't think there's any point to defeating the Gibdos, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna assume that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go back around this way and unlock the last door that I need to unlock, which leads back over to... Yep, this room right here. So that means I consider this dungeon now 100% complete because this dungeon has wore me out. So with that, I'm gonna end off the video here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next video when I hopefully have a lot more luck on dungeons. <laughs> Well, that was fun, though, anyway.